Horses are on the track for DuCoin's ninth race, the County Fair Challenge for two-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings. Post time in less than five minutes. No changes. Here are the starters. One is R. Sneaky Pete, owned by Randall Denham of Windsor, trained by Ray Gash. Tim Tietrich is up. 1A is R. Worldly Good, owned by Eugene Denham of Windsor, Ray Gash, the trainer and the driver. Two, Collins Carney, owned by Larry Binkley of Charleston, Michelle Whitlock of Jacksonville, trained by Binkley. Andy Miller will drive. The 2A, Holly Hill Neutron, races for the same owners and trainer, but with Larry Binkley also driving. Number three, GA's Bold J, owned by Allen and Jacqueline Bowen, by Gary and Jeanette Shields about Sterling, trained and driven by Allen Bowen. 4 LT's Wind Dancer, owned by Larry Finn and Trudy Beaver of Newton, trained by Larry Finn. Fred Finn Jr. is up. 5 Kentucky Bird is owned by Kevin Judy of Homer, trained by David Avenetti. He's in the bike. 6 OG's Tony Z, owned by Wayne Puckett of Pittsfield, and by Jerry Robinson of Carrollton, trained by Jerry Robinson, Dale Heitman, the driver. Number 7 Jay Bird is owned by Bobby Weatherford of Litchfield, trained and driven by Dave Martin. And number 8 is Big Red Dog, owned by Ron and Dolores Phillips of Petersburg, trained by Mike Rogers. Eric Ledford is in the bike. That ninth race is now just three minutes from a start. You mentioned that we are dark tomorrow at the DeCoin State Fair, no harness racing, but Thursday when we continue, the Grand Circuit comes to town and these county fair challenges continue. Ten races Thursday beginning at noon, nine of the ten races go for anywhere from $10,000 to $32,000 a dash. So that'll be a good day of racing Thursday. Here they come for race nine. They're off and pacing. Holly Hill Neutron for the lead. Kentucky Bird was threatening to make a break, and David Avenetti has his hands full just trying to keep him on gate as they head into the first turn. And there goes Holly Hill Neutron. He blasted by GA's Bold J for the lead. Our Sneaky Pete is third toward the inside, and there goes Big Red Dog. He's parked. He goes from fifth into third, and now starts to move up to challenge for second. Holly Hill Neutron leads it by two. Big Red Dog is second ahead. GA's Bold J is third toward the rail. 27 and 4, a quick front quarter. Gap of 2 to R Sneaky Pete, who's fourth toward the inside. Another 2 to R Worldly Good, who is next, and he's down toward the rail for the move up the back stretch. Collins Carney is outside of him. Kentucky Bird is three wide in the center of the pack. A good eight lengths off the lead. Further back, it is LT's Wind Dancer moving up from the ninth position into eighth on the outside and is followed by OG's Tony Z and Jay Bird, who is last, 14 lengths off the leader. The half in 56 seconds. Holly Hill Neutron leads it by a length and a half. GA's Bold J takes to the outside of Big Red Dog, who is second by a neck toward the rail. Kentucky Bird is fourth behind that pair and is followed by LT's Wind Dancer, who's fifth on the outside, five lengths off the lead. Midway on the turn, OG's Tony Z is racing seven lengths from the front, then our Sneaky Pete. At the three quarters, Holly Hill Neutron on the lead by two, followed by Big Red Dog. Three quarters and 125. They move off the turn. GA's Bold J third. LT's Wind Dancer is now fourth down toward the inside. Kentucky Bird is a wide fifth. Holly Hill Neutron streaks by the eighth pole. On the lead by three lengths. They're five wide behind him. Collins Carney tries to close ground. LT's Wind Dancer goes to the second position. And LT's Wind Dancer is coming. LT's Wind Dancer goes to the lead. Late move from OG's Tony Z, but LT's Wind Dancer gets it by two. Close for second, either Holly Hill Neutron or OG's Tony Z for the play spot in 155 and two-fifths. Locks has also spent time in the Illini, Egyptian, and Big Ten. And into the winner's circle now is another two-year-old that has split his time among many of the Illinois County Fair circuits this year. Here he is, the unofficial winner of the ninth race, number four, LT's wind dancer, Fred Finn Jr. with the winning drive. This two-year-old gelded son of Kate Crusader, bred by owners Larry Finn and Trudy Beaver of Newton, Larry Finn trains the winner. Four wins and nine starts now on the year for this two-year-old, 155 and two, a new lifetime record. Let's grab Fred Finn Jr. He's a native of Greenup. Fred, real quickly. On that last turn, you were on the outside at the three-quarter. All of a sudden, you're on the rail coming down the stretch. Where, when, and why did you make that move? Well, Evan, he run over the guy's wheel. He was following. He made a break, so there was no choice but go back through the rail then. You know. And it paid off, right? It paid off great. <laughs> I tell you, the people that play the chalk heaved a huge sigh of relief. Congratulations. Okay, thank you. Fred Finn, Jr., he's the winning driver. More in a moment. 